I don't know kung ako lang nakakaramdam nito ah, pero like when you get closer to Valentine's, it seems like you become more conscious of the relationships that you have or maybe even the love that you have or you're sharing with other people. And maybe it's just a great time for us to reflect as well on where we are with the relationships um, with other people. And so for the people who are into uh, relationships, who are in a relationship right now, maybe you could use this episode as a sign to see um, which of the boxes uh, ang nache-check mo pa, no? kahit na kayo na, is nararamdaman mo pa rin he, he or she is still um, expressing love in these subtle ways. And uh, maybe if you're someone naman na single, tapos, um, you know, either may nagpaparinig sa'yo or gusto mong iparinig sa isang tao na you're into them, na may gusto sa kanila, maybe you can use this episode for you. And first of all, you know, pure disclaimer, I really believe that... Um, you know, communi- communication is key. Like, you got to learn how to communicate your feelings. You got to learn how to say it um, and express it and let people know when you have feelings for them. Wala namang mawawala, right? And, uh, but for some people, is hindi madali yun. So, and uh, maybe yung ibang tao, no? You're in a, what we call situationship na hindi ka sigurado kung kayo ba talaga, may gusto ba talaga sa itong taong to. This could also be your check-up uh, points or checkpoints to decide whether uh, you are actually leading into something more or you're just assuming as well. So kung wala, kung hindi niya ginagawa yung mga bagay na i-discuss natin ngayon, maybe uh, check um, kung may kapupuntahan ba talaga. And if meron naman sa inyo, then maybe you could also classify that as okay. No? Ang pakaming mga kaibigan kayo or mga best friends kayo biglang nagpaparamdipaparinig. This is your chance to really catch them to see if they're into you or not. And so I want to start off with the first subtle hint or first sign that a person is into you. No? The first sign is a person, you know, when he or she pays attention to you. Now, I know it's kind of a cliche, pero... More, um, you know, right now we're living in a world of attention. Um, you know, it's a battle of the attention right now, especially with what we have on social media. Kung sino pinaka nakakakuha ng attention mo, yun yung priority mo. Okay? So, if your priority is, um, you know, your social media, your attention will always be on social media. If your priority is a person, then you'll also put attention or give or pay attention to that person as well, right? If she's always listening to you when you speak, you know, if um, when you're with them, you are in a space of you're just listening to that person, you're just being with that person, and they're actually paying attention to you. Like, they're also paying attention to the details. Kahit yung mga malilit na bagay na aalala nila, Okay. So kapag ang tao nagpe-pay attention sa detail, medyo may extra effort yun. So that's a subtle way uh, or a subtle hint as well no? na may gusto nga sa'yo ang isang tao. And I remember uh, for me, no? especially for me, uh, isa sa mga love language ko or ang main love language ko is actually quality time. And aside from quality time, it's not just how long I want to spend time with a person, but it's actually the quality of the time that I spend with the person. So for example, it really matters to me that when a person is talking to me, nakababa ang cellphone, hindi naigip, hindi, hindi nanonood, pagkausap ko isang tao, kausap ko talaga isang tao. And when I am paying attention to you, and I saw this sa mga taong, um, you know, sa mga taong gusto nila isang tao, Nakita ko rin, and they're really paying attention to them because it matters to them. Versus sa, you know, bahala na, dyan lang naman siya. Hindi yung masyadong papansin yan. Right? If the person is paying attention to you, the chances are, it's a sign that they are into you. Now, of course, no, pag sinabi na, you know, pure disclaimer as well, no? If, for example, it's a sign, take it as a sign. Okay? What do I mean by that? First of all, um, take it as a sign, meaning it's not a truth, but it's a sign, leading you to a bigger truth. Second of all, don't ignore the signs. It's a sign for a reason. Pinakita yung sign na yun sa'yo kasi yan na talaga deep inside yung gusto mong 
or yung nag-aalay yung soul mo. Okay? So, take these signs as seriously as you can as well. You know, the second, uh, aside from paying attention to you, the second sign or hint that a, that a person might be into you is they make an effort to spend time with you. And when I say, I, I think I've been watching a series in Itaewon. And sa last scene ng Itaewon, sabi nung bida na, you wanna go out? Uh, let's go out. Do you, do you have a busy schedule? Tapos binaba niya yung pen niya na, no, I don't have a busy schedule. Let's go. Pero nung nakita yung schedule niya, sobrang tame, sobrang puno. A person, you would know, a person that is into you, if they would be willing to drop work and all the other priorities just to be with you. Lalo na kung physically yan. No? Hindi lang tawag. Pwede ring tawag, no? Pag, oh, sige, you're, you're calling, okay, labas ako meeting, let me answer that call. Or if you're in the area, pupuntahan kita. Right? If I will make time for you, then chances are I like you. If I am willing, you know, if you are willing to spend time with a person and drop all the other areas in your life, not, not forever, huh? but all I'm saying is, if willing kang mag-cancel, mag-adjust ng priorities para sa isang tao, that's a hint. That's a sign that a person is into you. So maybe look at your suitors or your, your, the people that you're hanging out with. Sino sa mga taong to ang talagang uh, willing mag-cancel na, ng, ng, at gumawa ng paraan para makasama ka lang? Kasi, you know, time is a much more valuable asset than money. Yung iba, naisip na pag binagastusan ko to mahal na ako nito. No. But if you say na binigyan ka niya ng oras, mas mahalaga yun. Kasi ang pera, mababalik mo yan, ang oras hindi na. So if a person spends time with you, then chances are they are into you. Or maybe, you know, it's a special friend lang talaga. But I truly, truly believe that if you're seeing someone and you're looking at them at a, as a potential partner and they're doing this, they're also into you. Okay, the third one is she laughs or he or she laughs at your jokes. So if a person finds you funny, kahit minsan di ka naman talaga nakakatawa, then chances are they are into you. Why is because when you're laughing with them, no, it just means you're having fun. It just means you're feeling safe with them. It just means that uh, you love the space, you love the vibe, and you just want to be there, um, you know, with that, that person. So if you're laughing and you're trying to make jokes and you're, um, you know, and they're really into the joke itself, kahit na isile lang talaga yun nakatawa. Minsan ganon no. Minsan, parang, you know, kahit hindi nakakatawa sa ibang tao, pero sa kanya nakakatawa, chances are, they like you or they're into you. Okay. So, the fourth sign or the fourth subtle hint na, ano, na a person is into you if they are touching you. Um, Siyempre, with consent. Hindi <laughs> na pwedeng wala. Pero yung medyo nagiging parang physical na siya um, sa'yo. So, chances are, they're really into you kasi if they allow a certain level of physical um, physical interaction, that means, or sila mismo nag initiate ng physical interaction, that means they feel safe with you. And if they feel safe with you, um, it's also a sign that they're into you. Kasi if hindi ka naman talaga gusto niya, hindi niya hayaan na, you know, magkaroon ng physical na, na ano yan, lalo na kung hug, Right or yung mga um, you know tap mga ganyan, friendly taps. Not saying that you should like look everything as a sign. Para sabi oh lahat na lang sign. No, not saying that. But you would know that if a person goes out of his way. Na minsan kahit hindi siya ma physical touch pero bigla ka yung tinapik, bigla ka yung hinawakan, bigla ka yung um, you know you would know it. Eh. You would know in that single touch na kung if a person is really into you. And a uh, funny thing, though, I don't want to, you know, share this on the podcast. But one thing that I kind of discussed, I think, with one of my friends, um, doon sa do sa do sa work ko, parang napag-usapan namin na, you know, when you touch a person from time to time, 
subconsciously they trust you. Like so when wait some pansinin niyo yun, minsan yung may mga um tao na manghihingi ng favor sa iyo, may pahawak pa yan. Like friend, kaya hawak ang kapang ganyan, right? Kasi the physical touch, subconsciously you kind of trust that person when you allow them to touch you. Right? So if I want you to trust me, then I'm going to need you to just, you know, touch you from time to time to have that physical interaction para um you know, magkaroon tayo ng malinaw na na ano na hindi lang tayo friends usap-usap lang. No, there's physical interaction involved. Light and casual physical physical contact such as a touch on the arm or even on the touch on the shoulder um, can indicate that she's comfortable with you and want to establish a connection. So yeah, that's the fourth one. No, merong physical touch na involved. Number five, she or he compliments you. So isa yan, no? Pag isa yan sa mga madudaling sign na makita na nagpaparinig sa isang tao na hindi nga I'm into you. Kapag grabe yung compliment nila. No? And pansin nyo to guys, ha? it's all in alignment with love languages. So kapag ang tao talagang hindi lang nagbibigay ng, ng affirmation, paminsan-minsan, kahit hindi pa siya madaldal, pero lagi napapansin yung mga maliliit na bagay, tapos kinocompliment ka. Ay, ang ganda ng ganto mo, ang galing mo maganto, bagay sa ito, yung mga ganyang compliments na parang oh, that's that's a, a sign na usually yung mga tao hindi naman talaga ganun yung ginagawa. But if they're really into um, complimenting you, they want to make you feel, uh, they want you to make you feel good about yourself, and that's a great sign. Because that's also something that I uh, am looking for sa isang partner, a person that can affirm me, a person that can boost me up, boost my confidence up and not drag me down and try to hold me down, right? So if a person compliments you, that's a great sign. Hey, if you are a podcaster that needs a place to record and be assisted by the best podcast producers, You can book your studio time at studios.podcastnetwork.asia to get the best podcast experience like us. Soon, we will also be live streaming and recording our episodes with a live audience so you can interact with me and my guests as we record live. Slots are limited, so get access now at pnalive.com and we'll see you in our next recording session. Next sign, no? A sixth sign is they mirror your body language. So hindi nila namamalaya na minomodel na pala nila or minomodel na nila yung actions nila sa'yo. So if, you know, if For example, ha, ako, I like you, and you like to eat, let's say, banana sundaes. I don't know if that's even a thing. But for me, like, okay, I also like to try that. I also want to try that kasi I'm mirroring your body language. Kung hilig mo mag de cuatro and I like you, then chances are my body subconsciously will try to um, do the thing that you're doing kasi nga, I want to establish a connection with you. So if my body is mirroring your body language, then that's a great sign that I, uh, the person is into you talaga. Whether it's consciously done or subconsciously done. Because that's basically you building a rapport. No, that's basically you building a rapport with someone. Um, if nag-mirror kayo ng body language, that's you uh, establishing a connection with that person. Okay, so the seventh one is she finds excuses to text or call you if she frequently reaches out to you even for small or seemingly inconsequential reasons it could be a sign that she wants to keep in touch and is into you so kapag you know lagi mong laging nag-hi sa iyo laging nag-hello sa iyo kahit na yung tanong naman nila is pwede nila i-search sa Google or gusto nila kaya naman nilang sagot alam naman talaga nila yung sagot but they want to get your opinion on it no This, this is a sign that they just want to spend more time with you and talk to you and get to know you more. Kahit na alam mo naman yung gagawin na nila. Alam na nila yung sagot nila dun sa tanong nila. They want to know your perspective of it because they want to know you better. Right? So if a person asks a lot of questions or asks questions more 
then chances are, you know, they are just trying to connect with you as much as they can.